Does your puppy bark or cry when you leave the house? Well, here are three tips to help train your best friend to be alone. So let's get straight into it. Number one, don't make it a big deal when you leave. And also you don't wanna make it a big deal when you arrive. Think about it in terms of rewarding your dog. Your dog loves rewards. Your dog loves praises. So if you are away from your dog or puppy for a long time, you come home and you basically just get excited and you basically praise them and say, ah, oh, I miss you so much. That is very counterintuitive to what you want to train your dog. It actually teaches your dog that the time away from you is not a good experience and that when you guys are together, it is a positive experience. Obviously it is, but you don't want the discrepancy between the two. You want to make sure that the time away and also the time with you are both positive experiences. Moreover, when you leave your dog, whether that's to go to grocery shopping, go to the gym or wherever it may be, you don't want to say goodbye to your dog. You don't want to be sad when you leave your dog. You basically just want to leave literally just directly leave and don't say anything. What I used to do, which I definitely recommend, is that not one, not making it a big deal, but also as you leave, just drop treats right when you're about to leave from the door. This teaches your dog that when you are away, they get treats and obviously that equates to a positive experience. And if you're consistent with this, I'm sure that your dog won't be as sad, won't be as stressed when you do leave. Because again, if they get rewarded for the time being away from you, then that'll help ease their stress and ease their sadness. Number two, I just talked about this, but I didn't realize it was on in my notes, but again, definitely imperative that you leave treats or even a toy or whatever their favorite thing is, definitely leave that as you go out the door because again, it really creates that positive association for your dog slash puppy. In turn, it also creates a distraction that you're actually leaving. So again, I definitely recommend creating some sort of positive association, positive experience for your dog when you are away. And lastly, number three, just to start with the whole process, you can begin by using a room with a door. Begin by keeping your dog in a room and then leaving them with a chew toy or again, whatever their favorite treat is and then walk out the room subtly without again, saying anything. Once you close the door for a split second, come back in, then praise them for not barking or not whining. Because it's such a short amount of time between when you close the door and leave and then coming back in, they won't have time to cry or bark. And that's the behavior that we're praising that we want. And so by not giving them time, they'll soon understand that they'll get rewarded for that quiet behavior. Then you want to repeat the process, slowly increasing the time that you come back into the room without him or her barking or crying. At the beginning, even one or two minutes may seem like a long time, but again, through consistency and positive reinforcement, I'm sure that your puppy and you will get a hang of it in no time. But again, if your dog is quiet and calm, make sure that you praise them. Not only praise them, give them smiles, show them in your body language, but also give them some treats. Give them their favorite toy because again, that's really how dogs are wired. They just love positive reinforcement and just positive praise. But yeah, guys, that concludes today's video. Let me know down below if you have any tips in helping a dog be comfortable with being alone. I'm sure a lot of people can find them very helpful. As a reminder, please hit that like button as it really helps in the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button too as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. If you aren't part of our Aussie Dual Lover slash Owners Facebook group, the link is in the description. All I ask is just no promoting or selling of puppies. I just want this to be a place for tips, tricks, ask questions, and ultimately share the joy of Aussie Doodles. Tell your dogs you love them. Jackson, I love you. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.